Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the G1 broadside, and here he is, and for such a, I wouldn't say bad toy, um, he's definitely middle of the ground, middle of the road, like, he's not really the best, but he's, I still like him, um, he's still kind of cool, um, obviously have him in his, I guess, more notable aircraft carrier mode, it, I just noticed this the other day. If you flip this upside down, it should say 98, obviously. But if you flip it around like this, 86. 1986, same year he came out. So I think that's cool. Um, obviously have the runway. Just some minor detailing on it. And obviously these strips. I don't think they're paint. I think it's paint. You can see it's chipping right there. I think these are paint, which I really like that they're not uh, stickers. Because they would have easily peeled off after 40 years. Um, but yeah, uh, these pieces, these uh, wing pieces are die cast uh, metal, which uh, Sandstorm, I don't own um, Springer, but Sandstorm does not have die cast in him. But so I definitely like him because he has that die cast in him. Um, obviously, that and then the superstructure. There's nothing really too much to it. It's just this. Um, just this little block. Not really too much detailing, but I really like it. And it's just a super simple mode. So let's put him into his um, jet mode now. So just flip those panels around. Flip them upside down. <laughs> unclip these wings. And I am missing that transparent piece, but flip these down and then flip these wings out. And these are also die cast. Um, yeah, uh, I, I am a bit more of a fan of the aircraft carrier mode. Just I like it a bit more, but this is still not a bad jet mode. If you know, you see, you see his arms, you see his legs, you see his feet, but I still really like it. I like just being able to just quickly flip it back and forth between his modes because it's just fun to do. It's just fun to flip him in between his modes because it's just, you know, like, you know, like a four step changer, you know, like from RID 2015 or the modern one step changers is that it's just exactly like them. There's minimal steps, very simple to do, but because those steps are, you know, you're actually moving the pieces a bit more manually, it just feels a bit nicer to do, in my personal opinion. But, um, yeah, I like, I really like the colors, the blue and the red of the stickers. I really, I really like the color scheme. Um, yeah, it's just, just a regular, regular old jet. Um, nothing too special. Mine's nose cone droops a little bit, but that's okay. And the stickers on him are okay. And so let's put him into his robot mode. Super simple. Just do the same thing. I leave the wings down. I'm going to raise the camera up just a little bit. I leave the wings down so I can get my uh, fingers in these gaps. And so I can slide his arms out. Like that. And then I flip them up. Or maybe they're supposed to be flipped up. Or they're supposed to be partially down. I just always keep them like that. Um, then I angle his arms. And then flip his feet down. And then reveal his head. And yeah. Uh, he's just just a block with some elbows. Nothing at the head. I guess you could count that. Like you could do that. But yeah. There's nothing much to him. He's just a block. But I don't have a problem with him. I just like him for some reason. I really like I really like the fact that you know just because he doesn't have anything at the shoulder, nothing at his legs, just I I don't know something about him being just this block that's heavy because of the die cast and you can just hold him and I, I don't know. I don't have a problem with him. Just he's just broadside. You know, everyone picks on him. And it's true, you know, he isn't a great toy, obviously. I transformed him in, like, two seconds from all three of his modes. But I really enjoy him. Just his simplicity, his 
blockiness, I don't know, because ultimately, he's not too far off from, like, uh, Astro Train, Astro Train didn't have legs, he had shoulders, but he didn't have elbows, had nothing at the head, so, um, he, Astro Train did have a bit more, uh, in-depth transformation, just barely, but, yeah, um, I, I like him, I, of, I don't own Octane and Springer, but, He's, I think he's easily just as good as um, Astro Trainer and Blitzwing, in my personal opinion. Just fun wise, ultimately engineering wise, he's not. Um, he's not better than that. But um, Sandstorm, in my personal opinion, will always be the best G1 Triple Changer, um, at least of the eighty five, eighty six uh, trio. But. Um, I still really like him. Love his head sculpt. Just standard robot -y head sculpt. Like, mouth plate, red eyes, red visor, blocky helmet with some detailing. Um, and I don't know why this depresses. I think it's supposed to stay down or something. And obviously, it was supposed to be a big blue transparent piece. But it's missing. Don't have any of his weapons, but... That's okay. And I got this guy. I got this guy for $2. I got this guy for $2 at a collector fair. And I absolutely love it. Especially for having his stickers on both his wings and his legs. And the uh, tail fins and his feet. Um, and then the die cast uh, not being all chipped. Like super chipped up or rubbed off. The paint on it. So yeah, I got him for an amazing deal, and something about him, I, I can't really describe it because he's just so simple, so t bad, I guess you could say, just he has this aura of simplicity, like, he's just like, he just reminds me of like a, a toy you would buy at like a gift shop, like he doesn't really, they don't really transform, but he's built with better materials, like... I guess that's the best way I can describe him because he's just like a brick, like a rectangle. I don't really know, but this, this guy, I thought about it before I was doing that. I started this video is like, this guy would be probably the best toy to have to throw it like a sibling because there's nothing on him that can really break. You know, maybe if you had his arms out like that, but you just tuck his arms in, tuck his arms in and maybe the fins, but as long as you keep them like that, and because of the die cast, and because he's just a brick, he can't wobble, he can't, can't break him, if you throw this at your sibling's head, they probably, <laughs> nothing would happen to him, you'd uh, just hurt your sibling, and I, I don't know why I thought about that, just the fact that he's just a block, and that's probably really all you could do with him, was just bludgeon your uh, siblings with him, because he's a baton or a, a throwing object, but yeah, I've always been somewhat a fan of, of a fan of Broadside, even though he showed up like two times, two, three times in the show, just him being an aircraft carrier is just so cool, and I don't know, G1 toy just is also cool, and you know, there's just, I don't know, there's just some sort of weird aura that I, uh, he has of being just a dumb, stupid, um, block, you know, more of a block than the toys up till then, you know, so yeah, so that's really all I have to say, so till next time, see ya.